One of the things that I think really separates biomechanics from physics is a topic of ground reaction force. Now, ground reaction force is something that humans can do, but that a table can't do and a box can't do. And that is that humans have the capacity to be able to actually alter the way that the ground works on them. So this is centered around Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now for boxes, they just sit on a table. And so their reaction force is just related to the weight of the object. But humans are a little bit different. We can generate what we call a ground reaction force. And this is where as a human, I can actually utilize my muscles to press on the ground in different ways. It might be that I'm trying to jump up to grab a rebound in basketball or even to stand up out of a chair. And what I can actually do is engage my muscles. I can push down a little bit harder on the ground and then the ground reaction force will go up and will actually propel me and push me in a lot of different directions. And we see this in so many different aspects of our life. It can be watching an older adult stand up out of a chair and you might notice that they might stand up a little bit more slowly than you do. And that's because their ground reaction force is smaller because their muscles aren't quite as strong or as large as yours might be. Uh, it might be that you watch your favorite sporting event and you see that athlete kind of jump up high to you know, slam a basketball or hit a spike in volleyball. And you watch them jump and think, how did they jump so high? Well, they jump so high because their muscles are so strong that they can push so hard on the ground that that ground reaction force comes back against them and propels them up into the air at insane heights and in insane speeds, allowing them to do things that you maybe can't do or that you don't often see in your own movements. Now, ground reaction force is something I dive into a lot in biomechanics. Thinking about the different directions of the ground reaction force. Is it up and down? Is it left and right? Is it forward and backward? Because there's times we need to walk forward and there's times we need to stand up. And so we utilize mathematical principles to break down these ground reaction forces, pair them with things like the force of gravity or a wind force in your face and start to understand the types of motions and accelerations that you can generate. Now, ground reaction forces are probably one of my most favorite topics in biomechanics, because as you can see, so much of it is related to the way that we move. Again, whether that's an activity of daily living like standing or walking, or your favorite athletic and sporting event. Now, ground reaction forces in my mind uh, just really separate biomechanics. And, and I think I'm okay saying this, that I think it makes it a little bit more interesting uh, than my cohorts of physics, I can say that, um, because I think it's so dynamic. It, it's so much about what we do as humans, the movements that we have and how we move is all centered around our muscles ability to push on the ground and that ground's ability to push back on us to create that motion that we want to do all the things that we do in our day.